Welcome back to another video. We are Epic Seven Time. Uh, and today it is Edda Summons. So, let's see how these end up. We are just going to be doing summon by bookmark packs and going from there because I'm lazy. But before we do, have a quick look at Edda and her artifact. Do the artifact first. So, artifact is effectiveness by 15 to 30%. On the caster's turn, attacking has a 35% chance to inflict a random debuff. Venom. Interesting that Venom's one of them, actually. I didn't realize that before. Maybe it didn't say it in the video, but that's sort of cool. I don't think I'd ever use it, but interesting. And then Edda herself is attack imprint or effectiveness concentrate. Skill 1... A decrease hit chance at a 60 to 75 percent uh and when stealthed goes up by 25 so 100 percent when stealthed skill free the attacks all enemies with a 80 percent chance 85 percent chance to silence and a 100 percent chance to unable to be buffed but cannot be cooldown increased or decreased so quite good versus um What's her name? Nakwal. That's the one. And a passive that gives a perma stealth essentially. If she's unstealth, she gains shyness. Shyness makes all of her debuffs go away. Uh, once every five turns. And she activates an extra attack whenever she attacks with shyness, which is an AoE. It spells two buffs, decreases combat readiness by 50%, and an 85% chance to decrease defense. Like, she seems cool. She feels like she's, like, go second type unit, but I've not really seen much on her yet, so I'm not really sure what people are doing with her. But, yeah. I mean, I could have just read those word for word, but I decided not to because I'm a piece of shit. But what we'll do is we'll get five for now, and we'll see if we can get her in five ten poles. I would like to get the artifact as well, but realistically, we can just buy it if necessary. But we'll have to see how lucky or unlucky we get. I will word of warning this real quick. I have a feeling we're going to be really unlucky here because I just did my daily 10 polls, which I haven't recorded, and got Operator Sigrid from it. So. There's a good chance we get heavily shafted here. Because all my luck just went out the window on a, a daily pull, so... Yeah, we'll see. And we're getting a 4 star every pull, which ain't terrible. But... Angelica. A. We guessed it correctly, look at me. I can't really guess artifacts because it doesn't give you like any sort of thing on what they could be. Like hint. Garbage. Oh. A. Nice. We got one copy of the artifact. I will take just one copy. That's fine. We got two copies of the artifact. I'll take two copies of the artifact. That's fine. Um. I mean, I'll. Quickly screenshot it, why not, while we're here. That one can go in the thing later, the Discord. Sad. Unless it upgrades, then, you know, less sad. It did not upgrade. Oh boy! Do another five. Like, any leftover we have is fine, because we just use them for Frida when she releases in a week. But it would be nice to not go full pity on, like, t uh, this banner. I was going to say two in a row, like, expecting Frida to go really badly as well, but I can't really expect both to be bad. We are getting, like, pretty shafted, though. But it was expected. 
Like, I can't be mad. I got a Moonlight 5. Like, minutes before this. So this is completely fair. Well, I mean, it's not. It's completely unfair, because it's spending all my resources. But... You know. Oh. Ah. Picked me out for a fucking four star. For two four stars. Oh. Oh, that's new. I'll take that. Nice. Effect resistance 15% for thieves. Uh, basic attack skill, non critical hit is made, 10 soul removed. I mean, that's cool, but yeah, I need it maxed for it to be any any good. I won't screenshot that one, though. I guess we'll get three of these, because that maxes me out anyway. And we have, like, some left over for next time. Oh, fake out again. No, five this time, though. And last one. There she is. Imagine it was the artifact again. There we go. Don't stare so much. I'm already embarrassed. Can we get a second copy? No. Bad. Yeah, that was very, very bad. Like, incredibly terrible. Ah, we're like one out. Um, can I get one from anywhere? Wait, I don't need to get one from anywhere, do I? One second. Now I'm two away. Uh, one moment. I'm going to extend this for like a second, for a few minutes longer, just to see if there's anything here. Uh, member shop? Yeah. Already bought them. Is there not like a way I can shop, find well the things, and then do the thing? Transmit stone. No. Screw it. I'll do one more ten pull on Edda because it'll get me the thing. And then we'll buy two moonlight things and we'll do the moonlights on this video as well. Actually, no, we won't do one more ready. We'll do one more covenant summon. Is what if we get something cool from it? Like that, yeah. Why would we just get another Moonlight 5 from another Covenant, Covenant Summon? Thief. I don't know what Thief I need. Not you, though. Sad. I am going to be upsetting a few people today, I think. Holy shit. Right, now we go to Moonlight Simmons. I should really be saving this for Ilnav, but Welcome. I'm not really that bothered to be honest. I don't see myself getting a Reaver with. Right, then we do... <laughs> How do I get two Moonlight 5s off of Covenants in one day? What's wrong with me? Get nothing from these, and then we get our guaranteed 4-5. Sad. I mean, to be fair, I can't be mad. I had two fives. Well, there we go. That's the summons for Edda, plus a little bit extra, uh, an extra treat at the end. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, the videos, the, the summons. Um, you know, good luck to everybody else going for Edda. Hopefully you'll pull her a lot faster than I did. Um, is, you know, would be nice, right? But, yeah. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time uh, for Frida, I guess, and also for Guild War videos, but all of the kettle of fish, right? But yeah, see you in the next video.